Thanks for sticking with us this morning. It is 543, and right now we're taking a live look at Muhammad Ali International Airport. This is one of the busiest travel weeks of the year for airports around the country, and experts expect to see nearly as many people traveling this year as they did before the pandemic. Yeah, TSA says more than 2 million people were screened Friday and Saturday, and more than 48 million people are expected to drive to their Thanksgiving plans, too. The vaccine mandate for federal workers starts today, and some are worried that airlines and airports will not have enough staff to keep up with holiday travel demands. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says that you will not be impacted. That's not a cliff. People aren't getting immediately pulled off of their posts. Uh, it's part of a process to make sure that everyone in the federal workforce is safe. People road tripping this week will do so with higher gas prices than we've seen in years past. Gas Buddy predicts it will cost you around $3.35 per gallon on average. Just last week, President Joe Biden called on the Federal Trade Commission to investigate if illegal conduct is to blame for the high prices. And if you're getting ready to travel, there are a few ways that you'll want to prepare for in advance. Yeah, we got some advice from flyers first. You can save some time at the airport by signing up for TSA PreCheck or Clear. Now, Louisville's airport doesn't have clear, but the airport you're flying home from may. Next, you should check to see if your ticket includes baggage fees. If you prepay those online, it will save you some time when you show up for your flight. And most of all, go ahead and mentally prepare to wait longer than normal when you're looking at your flight. You know, as travel approaches where it was pre-pandemic, one thing that folks have not accounted for is that conditions have changed. You know, if you're checking in for a flight and it's an international flight, airline agents now have to check many more layers of documentation depending on where you're going. So those lines are going to take longer. Add to that lingering staffing shortages and you have a recipe for long lines and delays. The best thing you can do for yourself is go into the situation preparing to wait, bring a snack, uh, and again, give the agents you're dealing with a little bit of grace because they're working under a tremendous amount of pressure right now. Now, if you're driving to your Thanksgiving plans, AAA says the worst times to start your drive are Wednesday at noon. So the earlier you can hit the road, the better. And for the trip home on Sunday, they say the worst times to be on the road are from 1 to 7 p.m. So that backup will be hard to avoid.